Hi everyone, so I have a different kind of process video for you today. Um, today I'm going to show you how I go about catching up on my project life when I am a few months behind. I wanted to show you this whole process from start to finish, so from selecting my photos to um, putting them into collages to sending them away to be printed, I wanted to show you all of that, but unfortunately I ended up doing all of that on a very stormy night last week, so the lighting was terrible, um, the timing just wasn't right and I couldn't film it for you. However, my stack of photos has arrived today and I thought that I would go through the process with you of um, showing you how I go through them and order them and keep track of dates and then um, cutting them and putting them into my album and how I'm attempting to catch up whilst being a few months behind. So you might be wondering why my laptop is randomly um, on top of my scrapbook and that is because every single month, well every week most of the time, I go through my photos, um, I put them all in order, put them onto my laptop and I put them into um, folders with the name of the month or the week or whatever I fancy to keep them all in order and it means that if I do get behind like I have done this year I can go onto my laptop and all of my photos are in order for me and I can know exactly when I took all of these photos and where they should be in my album. So I'll go onto my laptop and I'll go onto my pictures and then I have a 2016 folder and it has all the months of the year in it and these photos are all from October and November. So I'll put that over there now. So this, as you can see, I'm not up to date. A lot of the pages have cards in, but I haven't actually scrapbooked the photos. So this is August, this is August, this is August, and I've scrapbooked that. And then this is my 22nd birthday, and I haven't scrapbooked my party. Um, I haven't even got most of the photos for the actual day. And then I'm missing the first two weeks of September as well. This is the third week of September, this is the last days of September, and then we have the beginning of October with the UK Planet Addict big meetup, and I haven't printed the photos for that either. There's no particular reason for that, I just completely forgot to order them. So with my laptop in front of me and all my photos in chronological order, I can go through and put all of these in order, which of course is useful. So, so far what I've done is I've gone through and I've put all the photos that definitely go together in little piles. Um, for example, this one is all snapshots of some Christmas photo shoots that I've done with the dogs. And even though these photos were taken um, in November, I'm going to save them for my Christmas scrapbooking and for my little Christmas mini album that I'm going to do, which there will be process videos on um, come Vlogmas. I will be showing you all of that. But yeah, so these are all Christmassy ones and they are all going off to the side. These are all pumpkin patch photos, so they are in a pile. These are all, apart from this one of my dad, photos from the same day where we went on a dog walk with our friend Bernie. These are all from Winnie's birthday and the few days afterwards etc etc so I know exactly which ones go together and then after that I will work on putting them actually in order. Right so all the photos are now in order, there are a lot of dog walk photos in here so if you don't like dog walk photos you may not like all of my process videos that will be coming soon but um, they're all now in order from sort of the middle of October to the middle of November, this is just a month's worth of photos. Um, I had planned to cut down how many photos I was putting in my project life but at the end of the day I really want to see all these photos in the future when I flick through these albums so why not have a chunk of them. The next step is to go through and cut them all so trim them all down. I'm very aware that the lighting is bad because there's um, a storm outside so I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible for you. Right so I have trimmed all my photos and I've made sure that they've stayed in order. I've realised that um, I'm actually missing some more photos from the end of October so um, I've had a quick look and there are enough photos to fill up that page there. So this page is where these photos are going to start. Apart from this one of my sister and my little niece, it was her um, sixth birthday on the 20th of October so I'm just going to pop that one on this page for now. 
My uh, three by four photos are much bigger than usual. Um, normally I print them on my Canon selfie and they are considerably smaller than this. Obviously they're not three by four. Um, these ones are a little bit shy of three by four, but normally I print them much smaller and it's because I sent them away to Snapfish. And even though I edit the photos and crop the photos and ask them to print them with a border, they never ever do. So um, the photos are a lot bigger than I would normally have. So this page is going to be pumpkin patch photos and I have a lot of them so I think what I will probably do is pop an insert in here but first of all I'm going to decide um, which ones I want on this page. So I normally just pop them all over the place and just decide what looks good and where. Oh I've just realised this is actually one of those page protectors that has lots of 3x4 slots so I'll have to move all these around in a minute. So I think what I'm going to do with these pumpkin patch ones instead of using an insert is I'm going to use one of these panoramic um, page protectors and it folds out that way but I'm wondering if I can maybe get it to fold this way if I fiddle around with it a bit because that would suit me a little bit better but it really doesn't want to. If it won't, that's fine. I can just use it that way. That's fine. Okay, so then I need to go through and look at my photos again and decide which ones I want to put where. Now, I bought a couple of scrapbook supplies purely for scrapping these photos. So I'm going to leave some gaps for some filler cards and for some journaling. Okay, so now that is all done. My photos are all in order and they are all in the page protectors. Um, these, I'm going to do some 6x12 layouts, which explains the weird uh, 6x12 insert. These are all in place. 
Um, so yeah, now they are all ready to go through and put in the cards and um, different bits of cardstock and decide on embellishments and kits that I want to use with them, etc. So yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this interesting. And lots of people do ask me how I sort my photos and how I put them into um, the pockets and everything. And yeah, I just thought you might want to see a little bit of my process. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, do let me know and I will see you next time. Bye guys.